Welcome back, kids, coaches, and parents. I'm Charles Xavier. And I'm Jack Lane. Birthdays this week. Well, we've got Bailey Bigger, Tucker Gilbert, and Tamara Waldner. Hope you guys have a good birthday, you know, end of the year's coming up. Should be everything you want. Summer, some summer toys, maybe some floaties for the for the lake, for the lake, pool, uh, pool. whatever you might want. Maybe even a kiddie pool, like a, like one of them like four foot deep ones, you know. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Like a little cousin Davy. Yeah. But uh, with that, we're gonna send off to Bang to get our elementary interviews for the week. So to you, Bang. Hey, it's Bang here. I'm here with Isaac for the elementary interviews. So what have you uh, been doing outside of recess since it's so nice out? Mm, I've been um, playing groundies and kickball. It sounds like fun. So what are your plans for this summer? Going to my Grammy and Papa's house to... Have some fun. All right. Well, I think that's all we have, so back to you. Hey, Bang, here again with uh, second elementary interviews. I'm here with Dalton. So what are what have you been doing outside for recess lately? Playing kickball and soccer. Yeah? What uh, what position do you like to play in soccer? Um, Outfield. Uh, so, so what are your plans for this summer? Um, swimming and going to the water park. Sounds like fun. Back to you. Thanks for that interview, Bang. Uh, calendar this week. Uh, tonight, starting at 7 o'clock, is the spring concert. Woo! 29th, there's no school. 30th, it's the Gettysburg Invitational Track Week, oh. starting at 8 a.m. Have fun. Sunday, the first FFA National Land and Range is to start in Rep Oklahoma. Represent. Um, Monday, we have the Junior High 281 Conference meet start at 1. Tuesday is the Miller Invitational starting at 8. And uh, I guess it's Teacher Appreciation Day. <laughs> Something like that, like anybody ever celebrates that. But uh, with that, we're going to send it off to uh, Grayson and see what... We've got going for the FCCLA. FCCLA results. So, Q Bang. Hey, Bang here with the FCCLA interview. So, Corey, what uh, what is FCCLA? FCCLA is a leadership organization. It stands for Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. So, what kind of projects and things do you do in, in FCCLA? Um, FCCLA has plenty of projects, many, many. Um, a lot of them are community service involvement and illustrated talks. I could go on forever. <laughs> so, uh, what were some of the projects that you had? Because uh, I know you all went down to the state convention here this week. And what were some of the projects that you did? Um, we had two projects for life event planning, which was I think they planned out a senior trip. And then we had Peyton and Craig did a project on breast cancer. And Caitlin Boomsma and I did a project on Families First. And Cassie, Kennedy, Dawson, Trajan, and Shanae did Focus on Children. Cool. And I heard uh, Craig and Peyton were pretty successful as they took home first place and are heading off to nationals in San Diego in July. So what do you got to say about that? Um, I think their hard work has paid off, and I hope they have lots of fun in San Diego. Well, thanks. That's all we have, so back to you guys. Hey, Bang here with Craig and Peyton. Uh, these two are actually headed off to the National FCCLA event after finishing first place in Sioux Falls and their event. So, so tell me a little bit about your project, a little, little perspective on what you did. Um, well, we did ours on uh, breast cancer awareness, and we held a pink night at a volleyball game this year. And, yeah, pretty good. So, Peyton... 
describe like your your whole project. Like what what was it? Well, we had to talk about like the Tiong Regional Medical Center and how they can't people can't afford the mammograms and talked about how the fast classes help us. So yeah. trying to kind of make it more affordable for for people to be able to get some awareness. Yeah. If you're talking. So how what have you learned? Through your project, what are some interesting things that you've learned? That two thousand dollars can only do five mammograms. Um. Um. I don't know. Is it? Can't we raise like that two thousand dollars? That really surprised me that it can only do five mammograms. Well, that's sure. You know, you gotta feel bad for the people out there who can't. Alright, that's all we have with these two, so back to you. Hey, it's Ben here with the SCCLA interviews. I'm here with Miss Tollison. So I heard you had a lot of success down at the state convention, so you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we had 15 students attend the state FCCLA convention in Sioux Falls out of the six star event competition um, events. Four of them got top superior gold ratings. One got a silver and one got a bronze. And we actually have one group, uh, Peyton Binger and Craig Mallon, that will be attending the National SCCLA Convention in San Diego, California from July 1st through the 8th. So I heard their, uh, Peyton and Craig's project was on breast cancer. Uh, what, what were some of the things that you tried to help them, to help them with as far as their project? Um, their project was really unique because it related to um, breast cancer and it was nice because both of them are the grandsons of Bobby Gatsky and she's a breast cancer survivor. So it was nice because they could relate their project right to that. Um, but just organization skills, like putting their project completely together, um, finding their creativity to make their poster um, pop and stand out, and um, just uh, speaking skills too because um, learning how to talk in front of others and being comfortable with judges and adults, that was something new for them. So I understand that this is the first time in quite a while that we've had a group heading out to the national convention, so are you excited for that? Uh, yes, I am very excited. I, When I was in high school, I made runoffs and was one point away from making it to nationals, so this is really exciting for me to be able to go out and take kids to um, my first convention and my first year teaching. So I am excited to go with it. All right, well, that's all we have, so back to you. Thanks for the interview, <laughs> Bang. Uh, what do we got for track results? The Redfield Relay is a little bit of R&R. &R. Um, Corey got seventh in the discus for the girls. Uh, and that's all. Boys results, Craig Mallon, fifth in the, in the mile run, and then our 1600, or their mile relay, medley relay, oh god, I can't read today, got seventh, and the 800 meter relay got seventh, so not too bad, the uh, little R&R. &R. Um, the Ipswich invite, the girls results, a little better this time, Brittany Holfer, fourth in the 200, seventh in the 100, Corey Cheddar, fourth in discus, nice. Isabel, uh, eighth Close. in the 100, 100 meter hurdles. Ashton Otto got seventh in high jump and eighth in the 400. Is that some over there? Yes, I am. Sorry. Jalen Steinhauser, third in the 800. Wow. Way to go, Shaylin. <laughs> Those of you that cannot see behind the camera, she is right there. Aaron Berry, third in long jump. Good job. Cameron Binger, fourth in shot put. And the 1600 meter relay got third, 800 meter relay got fourth, and the 400 meter relay got eight for the girls. For the boys, we got Craig Mallon, second in the mile run, Clay Martin, fourth in triple jump, and the 800 meter relay got fifth, and the medley relay got sixth. So, pretty good. Two track yeah. meets. I mean, there was some good results in there. About 15 people that placed, probably. So. Good to see that we're improving from where we started at the year. End of the year is kind of starting to roll around. Yep, got regions coming up, I suppose, pretty quick and whatnot. But now, 
We're going to send it off to Allie and Cole to see what the FFA kids have got for us. So, to you guys. Today I'm here with the Hitchcock Tutor Agronomy team who participated in the Agronomy Career Development event at the state convention. This is Ty, he got 46th, Chelsea got 17th, uh, Isabel got 7th, and Grant got 18th. Ty, uh, what do you do during um, while judging agronomy? There's six different tables around the room, and there are different seeds and weed mounts and different types of mounts in the tables, and you have to go around and identify each characteristic, and then you have to name the environment you're located in. Chelsea, how did you prepare for state convention? With a lot of late nights at the egg room and going over test questions and characteristics. Isabel, what were your feelings when Nguyen got called to the top ten? Um, first I was shocked, but then again I was relieved that I had done well. Grant, what was the highlight of your state convention? Um, seeing new and different events and seeing the top level competition and meeting new people. Hello, I'm Cole. I'm here today with the Meats Evaluation Team, who take, took part in the state convention. Anthony got first, Billy Cole got third, Cameron got 15th, and Allie got 16th. Cameron, what do you do to prepare for Meats Evaluation? We identify the species, primal and retail cuts of either beef, pork, or lamb, and we yield grade, quality grade, and the judging classes, and after we get done judging, we pass our team topics. Allie, what did you guys do to prepare for state convention? We had a lot of late nights in the egg room and studied a lot in the hotel before we went and judged. Anthony, what was the most difficult part for state convention? Memorizing the, the yield grade cuts and the test. Bailey, what were your feelings when you got called up for the top two teams? Well, we were all pretty nervous because we all thought we did terrible, but, and we were also shocked that Anthony got first, and then Lennox got third, so then we were kind of happy, and then after we heard the mmm to McCook, we just knew we won it after that. All right, thank you. That's all. Back. Today I'm here with Sky Chaplin, Riley Binger, Matthew Stanley, and Bailey E. Nander who participated in the Vet Science Career Development event at the State Convention. Sky, what is Vet Science? In Vet Science, you have to take a 50 question test and you have to identify 55 different animal groups. Riley, how did you prepare for State Convention? Well, there was a lot of ID, so we had to study ID like a lot. <laughs> we had a lot of extra hours of studying. We came to the A group after school sometimes. Matthew, what was the highlight of your state convention? Um, all the pizza that we got to eat. Bailey, what was the hardest challenge of vet science? Um, the hardest part was trying to learn all the ingredients. Today I'm here with Wyatt Johnson, Peyton Binger, Zach Binger, and Cole Conan, who participated in the Natural Resources Career Development event at state convention. As a team, they placed 11th place. Wyatt, what do you do when judging natural resources? Uh, we judge IDs, and then we'll take a written test, and then we'll take a map of the ocean. Peyton, how did you prepare for state convention? We made a binder that had all the IDs in it, and we studied them. Zach, what was the highlight of your state convention? Uh, probably meeting with these guys and learning and meeting new people. Cool. What part of judging natural resources did you struggle with the most? Probably the IDs, getting them down and knowing what was what and how everything went. Thank you. Today I'm here with Boston Kniffling, Jordan Micklich, Chase Fixer, and Grayson Winger, who participated in farm business management at state convention. They received seventh place as a team. Boston, what is farm business management? Well, uh, you take farm problems or farm questions like uh, stuff to do with taxes and equity and li liquidity and uh, your net worth statement and all that good fun stuff and you get math questions um, that you have to solve. Um, you uh, get a bunch of information where you go through and look for, for the stuff that you need for the problem and then you get multiple choice. It's usually a 50 and um, 30 
30 or 50 and 50 uh, question tests. Jordan, what was the highlight of your state convention? See what our state convention. Chase, how did you pr uh, prepare for a state convention? Well, mostly we've been collecting tests from over the year that were taken at all the past events. And um, uh, we studied over those, and Mr. Brink also gave us past state test work as well. Grayson, what was the most challenging part about farm business management? The math portion of the test and dealing with the taxes and things like that. Thank you. Today I'm here with April Hamilton, Austin Schultz, Tyler Schoen, and Caleb Warner, who participated in the Floricultures career development event at State Convention. As a team, they placed 15th. April, how did you judge floriculture? Well, we take a test, we also identify flowers, and we also make an arrangement. Austin, how did you prepare for State Convention? Studied a bunch of tests, and then we did some DIVs on the computer, and then make an entrance for the entrance test. Tyler, uh, what was the highlight of your State Convention? I guess just making new friends there. Caleb, what was the most challenging part about floriculture? Making the floral, floral arrangements. Thank you. Thanks for those interview guys. Uh, you know, school's coming down to an end. What do we got? Like, I think eleven. Nine days. Nine days left for the seniors, yeah. and twelve or eight and a half for the seniors, because the thirteenth, which is that Friday, Friday. The 13th. Actually, seven and a half because next Friday they probably show up. Seriously. Or next Thursday probably. Next Thursday. Oh yeah, so probably about seven and a half because everybody else got like what twelve or something like that. Eleven and a half. Wednesday, which would be the what? Oh yeah, the fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, sixteenth. The eighteenth, I think that is. Maybe they have their half day. Or yeah, they got to get out at like noon. Oh yeah. Suckers, but uh, finally starting to finish up around the school. Finally poured that cement pad in between yeah. the front. I mean. I mean, it may have took them all year, but I got her done by golly. Looks like the shop and the new room. Shops are together. Yeah, they're, they're coming along. They're starting to move a little bit. Still a lot of work to do, though. Yeah. I don't know much about Hitchcock. You seen it much going on over there? No, I've not been over there in a while. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, oh, <laughs> in the new part here in Tulare, all they got up is, uh, just the cheat rock, and then they got mud or whatever on it, mm -hmm. but they don't got no paint or they're working on the AC units. Nice. The kids are a bunch of spoiled little, little buggers, but it's all right. They won't get, get to get out of school anymore like we used to for the heat. So. Yeah, it's suckers. True. But I think on that note, we're going to send off to Grayson to get our senior spotlights for a week. To you, Bang. Hey, Bang here with Chase for the senior spotlight this week. So Chase, where are you? Where are you heading to school there next year once you graduate this this uh, spring? I am gonna head to Brookings, South Dakota, to attend South Dakota State University. It's gonna be an old jackrabbit, huh? Old run rabbits. Bleed run blue, baby. rabbits. Lake Erie is where it's at, but okay. So uh, what are you uh, what are you majoring in over there? I think I'm gonna major in agronomy. What do you uh, what do you hope to do with that? What are your future plans? I'd like to take that degree. I'm also thinking about getting a minor in precision ag system technology. I'd like to bring it back to the farm and kind of like minimize. We won't have to have people come out and certify. We'll just do it ourselves and save the farm a lot of money. So basically be the agronomist for your own yep. family farm. Yeah, pretty you much. Farm a little on the side. Yep. Sounds good. So what, what advice would you have for for the younger students, like our camera personality here, going forward in uh, high school, I stay active in sports. Always a good time. We got to go to a state tournament. That was probably the funnest, funnest time I've had so far in my life. Um, apply yourself in school. Help you go far. And that's about it. All right. Well, you know, we're all moving on here, and we're sure gonna sure gonna miss you when you go over there to Lake Area. So I'm going to SDSU. Back to you. Thanks, Twinkies that, suck man. again this year. Yeah. Oh, you know, sorry, you go. They were good last year. Yeah. Twins are kind of having a tough season this oh, year. Oh, nine. They're pretty salty coming out of the gate. Yeah. Everybody's high hopes went from here down to the bottom. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, you know they've been they've been seven and six since their zero and nine spill. To open so that's the game. seven and fifteen. I mean, they still got a pretty big hole to climb out of. They're all right, you know. They kind of uh, they kind of dropped a couple tough ones. I mean, they lost can't to close a, out games. Lost to a walk off in Washington and six in, sixteen innings. Then they that's their that's their closer's fault. Then they came back and they won in a walk off fashion as Oswaldo Garcia absolutely hit a dong and then. Comes up for the interview, freaking guy has to have a translator to go through the interview. How embarrassing is that, that he doesn't even speak English? Got like five, We're in America. They got five guys that can't speak English. They have a bunch. I mean, I'm pretty like sure. Like the cameraman, Grayson Minger, got, said they got five guys that can't even speak English. And they're in America. I'm pretty sure Sano uses one, too. But, um, uh, and then Hard. they, after they won in walk-off fashion. Like, they, what in the world? They were winning... Just last night, and what do you know? They lost that game. I believe it was six, oh, surprise, six to five. I believe was the final score. They dropped that one. I'm pretty sure they were up a couple runs in the eighth inning, but you know, still not surprised. Twins being the Twins, probably put Jepson in, and he probably. I think they should name them like the Twinkies. The Twinkies. Just yeah, just the Twinkies. The Twinkies are good. They taste good, but. Minnesota Twins are kind of like a bad taste in your mouth, you know what I'm saying? True. I mean, touche. They are they are my second team, but boy, they are really having a tough road this year. And I hope they can turn it around. For all you Twins fans out there, I don't want to tell you. Pick a new team, probably. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> that's all we have this week, folks. I'm Charles Xavier. And I'm Jack Lane. Stay classy, HGTV.